Hey, it's Nicole from Outer Inner Space, and this video is about Capricorn energy and ESP, so how extrasensory perception can manifest for Capricorn energy. So you can watch this for any cap placements for 10th house energy or wherever Capricorn is in your natal chart, because we all have all 12 zodiac signs in our natal chart, there will be an expression of all the signs somewhere in your life, in your output. So the reason I'm doing this series cap is because I believe everybody has extrasensory perception but commonly no one talks about it or it's something that we can't really get verified by other people and truthfully extrasensory perception is just for us to navigate our path and I feel that it makes up a huge part of who we are and how we function but because of this idea that it's just for a certain group of people or only gifted people have it. We don't trust the very subtle impressions that we get and the very subtle ways that we read energy. And I feel that causes a lot of discord in people and in communities and um, that has reverberating effects where we're operating in a way that really discounts this huge part of our experience and the goal of this series is to just illustrate how we're all working with it in these very subtle ways, these very sensitive fashions and hopefully you kind of start leaning into yours and verifying it for yourself and then your energy field, your whole experience, your whole perception starts to shift. So the series is designed that you can watch all the videos and apply it to wherever those signs are in your natal chart or whichever house placement you want to look at and then you overlay the energies because energy isn't bordered between signs or houses, it, it fluctuates, it flows. So for Capricorn energy and extrasensory perception, this has so much to do with timing and with Saturn's influence here, it has everything to do with energy management. And what I've been talking so far about in the series is energy management, about how we need to take responsibility for our own body, our own field, our own energetic output. And when we start to do that, when we start to tend to our own energy, when we start to clear blockages that we've absorbed throughout our life, then our whole output changes and then our extrasensory perceptions open up. And with Capricorn energy, there is this slow release with extrasensory perception the cycles of time play a huge role in how these perceptions, these abilities, the refinement of these abilities comes into play. And this is why there's that association with Capricorn energy and Saturn about the lessons that we face again and again in these loops. It's like, why is this still happening? And this has to do with whether you're integrating the lessons, whether you're noting the discord if you are operating out of integrity. So one thing I've said throughout this series is that when we're quite young, in the first seven years of our lives, we are in a theta wave, this slower wave where we're absorbent to our whole environment, to everything we see. And this information, it is stored in our unconscious. It is like below conscious level processing, which is like beta waves and alpha waves. And so in these very formative years, we get imprinted with all these ideas about social structure and what it means to be a good person and ways to behave to get love or get approval. And these can become driving factors when it comes to 10th house energy of like working really hard or grinding till we're basically unconscious to get to a certain result that we feel is going to close that gap, that original gap of getting approval. And that's where that law expression of cap energy comes in of that striving for status and then getting there and then it being empty because it wasn't what you were looking for, if that makes sense. And with fourth house, tenth house axis, it has to do with parental impressions, that moon and that Saturn energy, the mother and father. And so... In that same way, we get imprinted in these ideal jobs or this ideal way to get to a certain place or the idea of going from this part in your career to this part to this part, the hierarchy. And then we kind of form our perceptions around that. And when we're little, we probably have these incredibly genius ideas about 
how to make money and absolutely no blocks about having to like bypass a certain person who has more experience. We just don't think that way, but we've come to think that way. And this is how extrasensory perception can kind of come into play is that needing to recognize when energy that you're playing out, when these patterns that you're playing out are actually, if they are in alignment with what is your true spirit, which was very resounding and in high amplitude when you were little and what you were playing out that has been an impression or an energetic level of strata that has been created around these original imprints. So Saturn wants you to be in integrity and he'll give you these roadblocks. He'll challenge you in how you're thinking and he'll make you see the same thing again and again until you go into yourself and you look at what you're doing and whether it's in integrity, whether it aligns your mind, your body and your spirit or whether it's just your egoic mind going after this certain goal at the expense of your emotional well-being that is out of integrity or whether you're going after this money driving factor to feel secure but you don't have that spiritual sustenance with the understanding that spirit is your supply, spirit is the bank and your energetic currency is far greater in value than any dollar value or any coin value. <laughs> And so these are the lessons that we learn over time. And these, this is how Saturn comes into play with extrasensory perception and how Capricorn energy learns is that the timing, you look back over time, this process isn't linear, like none of the process, especially with the extrasensory perception, but our whole life experience, we're working in these very abstract cycles of time. So you'll get glimpses of these scenes from the past and it could even be past lives where you have been told a certain thing or you'll get a certain feeling as to why you're being driven in this way. And it's really important to pay attention to that because it's subtle and it's going to challenge your ego and it's going to make you question all the work you've put in so far. But that work is never wasted it's you'll see it it like over time you'll see oh I needed to have this crappy job that I felt like I had to have because I needed to learn this particular skill or this particular way of relating and this is what I mean by non-linear when you sort of start to refine your field and really start to work in resonance with what you really want and what lights your spirit up then you'll piece together all these details along your journey and then you'll integrate them and that's the whole idea of integrity is when you integrate the lessons you put everything together and you operate in alignment with that with everything you've learned and that's when Saturn blesses you and gives you the rewards when you think about the progression from the ninth house where we're looking for truth we're looking for more answers we're challenging our beliefs we're educating ourselves on spiritual concepts and we're getting in touch with our spiritual nature in the 10th house we embody that we start to amplify that and it's important to consider with Capricorn energy and 10th house energy it has to do with legacy so it's not necessarily about career it's about what your energetic imprint leaves behind what it changes in the world and the future that you want not just for you but for your grandkids or just for people who come after you because you were here and I feel like a lot of Capricorns in this day and age the, the work it is more spiritual in nature it has to do with energy mastery like that's the mission and so when you do this inner work and you refine your driving factors and you figure out what it is you really want, then those socially constructed ideas of needing to have a certain position in work or having a certain amount of money in the bank, it dissolves, it becomes so insignificant. The reward comes from being in integrity and spending your energy wisely and making good energetic investments in projects that mean things to you and will make a difference and will shift things. This is why it's so integral for Capricorn energy to slow your roll and 
pay no mind to the pace that is around you or that is being imposed upon you. It is about you really tuning into resonance and setting your own timeline. And that's really key. And I talk about this more in the Saturn Chart Ruler video I did for Capricorn Ascendance, and that's worth watching. But it's really about not keeping up with the Joneses or any kind of trends for Capricorn. It's about you being the dictator of time and Saturn will love that. And it's also about stretching time to process these emotions and reparent yourself in a way and tend to your emotional body because we're working with that 10th house, 4th house axis. And it's really important to clear these energetic blocks and these structures that get formed in the body to ensure that we don't spend our time and spend our energy on constructs, on ideas, on impositions that aren't in alignment with us because Capricorn does not want to be wasting time. And with Saturn energy, with Cap energy, it's got to do with the bones. And these structures, these little circuits of beliefs that we hold and we carry they form like fake bones in our bodies and they become what we lean upon and what we rely upon but quite often it isn't true it's out of harmony with us and so tending to the emotional body tending to these parts of ourselves that are so vulnerable and so sensitive and are stored in the sacral chakra the seed of our soul it's going to help you tune and refine and it permeates around you and that's the legacy you leave and then when you do that you change the folds of time so so know that you have the ability to traverse these different timelines and dip into them and see what's there see what happened to you and create the fourth house energy that energetic space around you to feel safe in these explorations and apply that compassion and that care and validate those feelings diffuse some of the hardness the rocky landscape in a sense become the archaeologist dust it off little by little and then apply that understanding that wisdom then all these perceptual abilities open up for you because you're not vibrating in this discordant pattern capricorn energy is here to change the future by applying the wisdom of the past that's where that tradition comes into play it's not about perpetuating these ideas it's about building upon it's about breaking it down and changing it and refining it and making it better making it last making it stand the test of time that's what pluto's been doing since 2008 is getting rid of that old stuff so that we can build new and Capricorn energy has a really important role to play in that and it has everything to do with power and these ideas of power and how we view power and how we really don't need to rely on other people or authoritative figures to give us our power because we've all been imbued with it in equal measure our ability to manifest our ability to heal ourselves our ability to set our own course it's all within all of us but when we have these structures around us which have told us otherwise and when we operate in that way where we believe that then we create this karma we create these energetic entanglements and that's that satin influence of karma and it's about seeing through that using your vision to see through that what's real what's not what's in integrity it's about energy management and really getting in tune with how you're vibrating and that's the legacy that capricorn energy leaves that's 10th house vibes and it's really likely that you've been working on this mission for many many lifetimes and It's worth remembering too that where you are now, you're right on time. You're exactly right on time. You haven't missed anything and you're not behind and you don't need a rush ahead. That's the last thing to do is rush. So Capricorn, I'm going to leave this video here. I've put together a, a collection of research called ESP Notes and 
the first part, body as an antenna, is free to read and I've linked that below and I hope you found some value in this and I wish you well.